Hi, I'm photographer David Flores. Have you ever wondered how to make an image freezing a subject in fast motion? Where critical action is made completely still, a photograph free of streaking and motion blur? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how to accomplish this effect and elevate your concept photography using strobes with short flash duration. Now, the simplest way to freeze action is using fast shutter speeds. That requires a lot of available light. In studio, this is where strobes come in, and because of the types of images that we want to make, we need something with an extremely short flash duration. Now, what is flash duration? It's that critical measure of time that the strobe affects the photograph, the speed at which energy fills the flash tube, and how slowly or quickly it drops out. When you're trying to freeze critical action, this can actually be more important than the speed of your camera. Today, we're using the 500 watt second Profoto D2. It's a monolight with a flash duration as fast as 1 thousandth of a second. When you consider that most modern SLRs and mirrorless cameras have sync speeds between 1 125th and 1 250th of a second, flash duration can become the decisive factor in freezing motion. Now, our first setup combines three elements, a glass, a colorful drink, and some ice cubes making a splash. I'm setting the D2 up in freeze mode. Now this shortens the flash duration considerably over the normal mode. And I'm placing the strobe above the subject with a 10 degree grid. This gives me more control over the direction of the light. I'm setting my camera to high speed continuous, ISO 200, shutter speed at flash sync, and an aperture of 5.6. Now the D2 can fire up to 20 frames per second. My camera isn't quite that fast, but I'm confident that we'll be able to make our picture. And since we're working with this incredible light, let's try something a bit more challenging. The concept for our shoot today is breaking out of a mold, emerging, prevailing, being seen. We're employing powder, and you could use flour or chalk, but we're using the more pleasant smelling baby powder to demonstrate this busting out, breaking through. Making the powder freeze in the air adds a powerful production value that can help drive home the concept of the imagery. This time we're using two mono lights. I'm placing both off angle behind the model. One with a standard zoom reflector, the other with a magnum reflector. I'm setting the key light at half power and reducing the other light by a stop. And this setup is all about putting emphasis on the powder, the shape, the form of it. If I made this image with a constant light or a strobe with a longer flash duration, the powder would streak. We'd see it moving. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sometimes that's exactly what you want. But today, we need to make a very specific photograph illustrating our very specific concept. Again, I'm using the D2s in freeze mode. Camera side, I'm opening up my lens to f4.5 and syncing at the fastest possible shutter speed. ISO is at 200. In our next setup, we're going to keep the magnum head off angle in the background. It's now on double duty as our key and rim light. Diagonally across, I'm placing the other head outfitted with a 10 degree grid. This is going to make a crisp, bold statement. Controlling motion is a critical element in studio photography. If you have a specific concept for a photo in mind, it's important to make that picture with specific, thoughtful visual language. Short flash duration is a great tool for freezing action and helping you create incredible high concept imagery. I'm photographer David Flores. See you next time in the studio. Hi, David here again. If you liked my video and you'd like to see more from B&H, click and subscribe right here.